Okay, hint sky on my experience is you see those two red three ton uh, jack stands? Make sure they straighten. They straight facing this way. Mine's a little crooked, but that's all right. I used to make them real straight, like they has to be straight on the head and straight on the side too. But like today, I jacked up not so well. Well, it's secure all right, but it's just not straight. You see how, you know, that right jack is not so perfectly straight, but the top is straight, all right? It's just the bottom is not so straight because the way I lean, uh, the way I put the jack, that's all. But you see this? I have another jack right here in the front. And just put it right here at the cross member. See that? Jacked up like that. And the last thing I will do here, I'll show you why it's not straight. You see? It's a little bit like this side of the jack is a little bit down further than the other side. The other side is a, a little bit upward. You see that? See what's the difference? Usually I have it straight. Like two jack will be straight like that. Okay? But today for somehow I didn't make it real straight, but it's all right. As long as holding the car up, I'm fine with that. I have another jack secured. I have like two, three more jacks secured right here. And I'm gonna bring the brakes right there and put it right in the middle of the car. Just a second here. See, just like that. Have it laid down there. And then last thing is last, have this bricks to hold the back tire okay so it won't roll down same thing I would do with the other side okay having the bricks to hold and secure the back tire so it won't roll down just like that even though I have my emergency brakes all the way up and it's on gear one right now instead of neutral usually I have it on neutral like most people will have it on neutral too, but if you're parking where it might roll down the road or on a hill or whatever, you might want to put it in first gear, all right? So it's on first gear right now with the emergency brakes on real, real good. And the car is jacked up, guy, and it's, it's really secure up high up here like this. And... I can now go ahead and take out my tires and then work my way taking out the mud guard and then I can go ahead and go underneath and clean up whatever before I even started to measure and install my uh, separate belts here. I really want to test out the uh, power steering belts to see if it fits. If not, I'm going to return it because like I told you guys on my video at the beginning is I want to test out this power steering belt because I'm not going to use the AC. So all I'm going to install is just around the power steering pulley and the crankshaft pulley, which I'm going to show you guys when I'm down, once I'm down there, show you guys the crankshaft pulley. Okay. All right, guys.